Hallo Yatris, welcome back to Yatri Cloud. I'm with us, Johan. So, as everyone knows, now I'm going to deploy the full stack application using Docker Compose. So, now I hope you have at least basic idea about Docker. So, if you not, just uh, go back to our last video, Docker deployment, where I give you the one by one step with installation of the Docker, how to create a Docker file, and how to run the project using the Docker. So, each and every concept are covered inside the last video. So, just check it out first and then move forward into this Docker Compose deployment. Now, let's start with the subscribe Yatri Cloud and hit the like button if you like to deployment our series. So, next, let's go into VS Code. Here you can see this is our last Docker file which we created. So, I just quickly go through it once, what exactly it means. So, before going into this, let's understand the Docker concept first. Now, Docker, Docker is a container where your application is running, correct? Just like you are running the NPM install in your local system and you can access the application via localhost, correct? So, this is running in your local, just like if you want to run this using a Docker container, then you need at least one Docker file that you can see here. And we can use the Docker Compose to run our, to manage our multiple containers at the same time. Right. Just like we need to maintain our front end, back end, database. So each and everything are running on a different, different containers, let's say. So to manage all containers, we need a Docker Compose. So, there is a basic idea about Docker and Docker Compose, a very basic. Now, let's go further on the Docker file. The first one from Node.js. So, here I'm using the Alpine version. This is a very lightweight Node version for the Linux. So, here you can use the Node 18, either Node 22, the latest one, depending on you. Second one is about working directory. So, we set the working directory inside the Docker container. So, whatever we are writing the commands after the work, uh, after this uh, setting the app directory, that all commands are executing into the container, not in your local system. Make sure. Now, the third one, we copied package.json file and package.log from our application, from our source code. So, as you can see, we just copied it and dos less, that means we just paste into the root directory. Now, the next command, npm install. We install the dependency, whatever, which is required to run this application. And the last, the third one about copy dot dot, that means we just clone the project from a local system into the container. And then we expose the port. Without Xverse, we can also run the uh, Docker, but that is a different concept. But right now, we need to expose the port to access our application using container. So that is the one point. And the last one, you can just give the run command. This is for development server. So now I'm just giving a NBF run dev and then giving the 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0. That means I open to accessible from every port, from everywhere. Okay, everyone can access this application. So, this is a very basic fundamental about Docker file. Now, I hope is it clear. If any doubt, just let me know in the comment box and I will happy to give you the answers. The next one about our Docker Compose file, we will go through hands-on after this explanation. So, stay tuned. And just understand first, then go with the hands-on. I know you are so excited to give you the hands-on and just showcase your live application. But first go through the concept. Yes. So, first one is about the version 3.8 that I am currently choice uh, majority. The second one is about we use the services. Uh, this is a kind of a syntax which is followed into the Docker Compose file. Then app, build, and context, and then we use the Docker file, right? So 
we get a reference from our docker file so we just input it and we mapping the port address 5173 which is running in our local system and 5173 is running in the container so we just port mapping to access our website within the container the next one is about environment so we fetch the env files from our dot env our dot env values okay i mean so here you can see the dot env so i'm facing this uh, values from this dot env file so that's i mentioned here sorry now the last thing about this start so whenever something change in the application it's automatically restarted to maintain this uh, uh, without downfall and without anything so this is a very basic docker compose file not a very complex so i hope that one also is clear then if yes so we can start deploy our application using docker compose okay so let's go through our linux system let's go into our terminal uh, as you can see i back into my terminal so as you know our application is currently kia3 hyphen live let's type ls so you can see this is a code well so case it is code i within the github repo as you can see everything is mentioned here okay now let's install the docker com first if you don't have so how we are going to install the docker com first i will give you the all each and every steps in the uh, github repo just go into docs inside the docker and inside you can see the docker compose.md here you can see uh, i mentioned all the steps go through it one by one so i already gone through the sudo apt update so i directly go through the sudo apt install oh, so it's not copied yet let me copy it first ah uh, yeah copy and let's paste it here so it will be installing your docker compass in your system so it must be currently ubuntu system right now as you can see this is already installed now let's check uh installed or not so for, for that what you can uh what you can do just type docker compose version so here you can see the version is uh mentioned here so docker compose successfully installed now we are happy to go further so as you can see if you want to create a docker compose file what you can do you can just type sudo nano to create edit file we use the nano syntax and just enter your file name hit enter and just paste your docker compose file here and that's it so now i'm just so uh, close this down and again we are using the docker compose to run our application so for that we have a command so sudo docker compose up uh, hyphen d hyphen d that means the detach mode so if we close our terminal still our application is running up to time in our website on our web web browser on our server so then hyphen hyphen build if you are go with first time then no worries but build that means if something is changed it automatically build in the process so hit enter and our docker compose is currently build up our application and is running in our container now as you can see the container key r3 hyphen live app hyphen one is started now that's it our application is live so it's so very easy now let's go to and check it out our website in our web browser so let's uh, first copy the your ip address at the local host if you are using your system i am using the virtual machine so i just copy this uh, my ip address go to web browser and uh, new tab colon our port address which we mapped hit enter now as you can see it's loading now and within a second your application is live yeah now you can see so it's a really easy concept and that's to 
much understandability now that's it as of now for this video and if you want to understand more about just let me know in the comment box and we'll go through further but 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 wait now if you want to stay more further on the docker compass i will give you the more commands let's back into our terminal so let's say what you want to close this application via our container right so for that what you can do docker compose ps so you can see this is our currently our application is running so ps you can check it out the running container now uh, if you want to stop it just type the uh, i mean you can down it docker compose down you can see this is removed now let's check into our web browser uh, refresh it yeah that's stop so it's too easy so why are you just giving you one command you can perform your operations so this is a too much easy concept now so let me go through the github repo so after installation we use these commands so i already go through it once if you want to check logs if any errors comes then you can go through it once and uh, last one if you want to go inside the container you can use this talk uh, sudo docker compose execute right so exec command to go into the running container okay so that is one thing is that uh, which i want to just uh, introduce about you but currently i'm not, go not going to further inside the container in the future videos i'll definitely create a one video specific on in depth docker compass right but right now that's totally completing from my side so i hope it is clear to everyone so best of luck and let me know your application is running or not so bye bye take care and see you soon yeah don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud. okay so yeah see you bye bye